masamang mahal natin na kanyang kawangis sa puso't damdamin marunong magmahal umasa at manalig pagbubukas palad kaloob din niya sa atin hinirang ng ama ang birheng Maria bilang ina ng Diyos bilang ina natin inang mapagmahal ina natin gabay inang maawain ina natin patnubay Nuestra Señora Nuestra Señora de Guía, pagbubukas pala tanging tubon namin. Sa mga biyayang nagmula sa Diyos, Ama natin. Please all stand. Let us pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, and the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of September. For the cry of the earth, let us pray that each of us listens with our hearts to the cry of the earth and of the victims of environmental disasters and the climate crisis, making a personal commitment to care for the world we inhabit. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while.
Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Tuesday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Please all stand. Come to the table in the expresses, peace with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. Come to the table in the We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon our beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you with a case against another dare to bring it to the unjust for judgment instead of to the holy ones? Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world? If the world is to be judged by you, are you unqualified for the lowest law courts? Do you not know that we'll judge angels? Then why not everyday matters? If therefore you have courts for everyday matters, do you sit as judges, people of no standing in the church? I say this to shame you. Can it be that there is not one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? But rather, brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers. 
Now, indeed, then it is, in any case, a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and these two brothers, do you not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor idolaters, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. That is why some of you used to be, but now you have had yourselves was. You were satisfied. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrer and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their coaches. Let the high praises of God be in their thoughts. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray. And he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood 
on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our Gospel today is about the calling of the Twelve Apostles. This is my most favorite gospel of all, the calling of the Twelve Apostles. Jesus departed to the mountain and prayed. Prayed the whole night before he called the Twelve Apostles. We could say that before Jesus made his decision, he prayed. Nagdasal siya bago siya nagdesisyon. Bago siya gumawa ng isang desisyon na nalangin si Jesus. So, the calling of the twelve apostles was a fruit of Jesus' prayer. Ang pagtawag niya ng kanyang mga alagad ay bunga ng kanyang panalangin sa Ama. One thing that we could learn from this momentous event is that each apostles or each apostle, though weak and having their own faults, could have something to teach. Bagamat may kahinaan ang bawat alagad, meron silang aral na maaari nating matutunan. All these apostles have their past. Some were fishermen like James, Peter, Andrew, and John. Bartholomew was a scholar of the law. Matthew was a tax collector. Simon, not Peter, was a zealot or an activist. Lahat may nakaraan. Some of them, Jesus already predicted their future. Before they were called, Jesus already knew what their future will be. Like Peter, who Jesus knew that he would be denied three times. Jesus knew that already. Thomas, who doubted Jesus' resurrection. Jesus already knew that. Judas Iscariot, who on the day he was called, Jesus knew that he would be a traitor. All of them, except John, hide in fear during his crucifixion. Alam na rin ni Jesus yun na magtatago lahat sila sa panahong siya'y ipapako sa krus. Alam na ni Jesus lahat bago pa man mangyari. Pero tinawag pa din sila ni Jesus. Pinili pa din sila ni Jesus. Bakit? Kung tutuusin, no? pipiliin mo bang isang traidor? Pipiliin mo ba ang isang makasalanan? Pipiliin mo ba ang isang taong alam mong ipagkakanulo ka? Bakit pinili lahat yon ni Jesus? Because their present was all important for Jesus. Yung kanilang kasalukuyan ang mas mahalaga kay Jesus. 
after the denial of Peter, what was important for Jesus is his repentance and being able to rise from his fall. Matthew, who used to be a public sinner, was able to leave his work and the cause of his sin. Yun ang mas mahalaga kay Jesus. Yung iiwan ni Mateo, yung nagiging sanhi ng kanyang pagkakasala, yung kanyang trabaho. And even Judas, after selling Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, Judas struggled with sin and was in despair. That alone could be enough. Okay na yung mag eh. Okay na yung magdamdam, malungkot sa nagawa niyang kasalanan. Okay na yun eh. Maganda na yun. At yun ang mas mahalaga kay Jesus. All of the apostles who hid during the crucifixion catch up from all their faults. Alam ni Jesus na sila'y pagtataguan, pero alam naman ni Jesus na magbabago sila. Alam ni Jesus na babawi ang mga alagad at yun ang mas mahalaga kay Jesus. What matters most in life is our present. We could no longer do something about our past, but learn from them. We may prepare for our future, but still no one could hold and determine the future. It is our present that we could do something about and work on. Like the twelve apostles, Jesus was not bothered by their past. And he even gave them chance by calling them. Hindi tinignan ni Jesus ang kanilang nakaraan. Bagus, pinigyan sila ng pagkakataon para itama ang nakaraan. If not for their response, the chance could have been wasted. Tumugon sila at yun ang kanilang naging kasalukuyan at yun ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat. My dear brothers and sisters, we all, we all have our own past that would teach us and a future to aspire for. But it is the now and the present is the most important of all. The now and present is the something that we could live and work on. So our past would not become our future and our future would become a success. Amen. Please all stand. After a night spent in prayer to God, Jesus chose 12 from among his disciples to be his apostles. Let us pray for people whom the Lord sends in our time to bring the good news of salvation to the ends of the earth. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Like Jesus, may we pray for guidance from our Heavenly Father, especially when we make important decisions for ourselves and for our dependents. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord bless the Pope, bishops, priests and deacons that they may offer an authentic witness to the gospel both in their preaching and holiness of life we pray lord hear our prayer may young men and women open their hearts to the gracious invitation of god who calls them to embrace the life of service as priests and consecrated men and women we pray, 
Lord, hear our prayer. May the lay faithful heed the invitation of Christ to work for his kingdom and bring the leaven of the gospel to the world of politics, economy, education, and public service. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May today's shepherds experience the joy of seeing the flock of Christ grow in an ever greater love for the Lord and for each other. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Verhen the Gia and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, the Twelve served as a foundation of your people whom Jesus gathered in your name. Guide and protect your church as she sends apostles and missionaries to announce your salvation to the ends of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please then pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us a gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please then, the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Then, let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. people